Hello, I'm Steve Hart. Welcome to Sports Tonight. We start with AFL and the Swans travel to Colonial to take on the Tigers tonight. Richmond desperate to turn their season around. The yellow and black looking to reignite former glories. Tough for some, but they started on the right foot, albeit a left. From 65, he gives it a massive thump. The Swans eventually found their running game. Ben Matthews putting Sydney on the board. Man, an open goal. Well played by the Swans. It was a tough opening term. Sydney up by 14 at the first break. Petiver kept the Tigers in it in the second, but Stephen Doyle was proving troublesome up forward. And there he is again. He is killing the Tigers. He's third as the Swans stayed in control and made it look a little too easy, up by two goals at the half. Runs in and kicks a, a goal. Richmond started the better in the third, an unusually small forward line returning dividends. A flurry from the Tigers, kicking three goals late in the third term to hit the lead by five points at the final change. Sensational play from Andrew Cracker. You won't see a better goal than that. Barry Hall put the visitors back in front before McPherson got a close-up look at the ball in his 100th game. The lead seesawed, but the sealer came from an unlikely source. Has the kick got the depth? And at siren time, the boxers told the story. Yes, yeah, sigh of relief in Richmond's box wasn't another heart stopper for the Swans, but this time they were on the losing end. The Tigers getting up by a goal. I think our players deserve the win. Pretty scrappy game, but I think that's the way we've played the last couple of years. Getting back to just scraping and scratching and, and getting in there and, and making a contest. It would have been deflating if we had got beat, but I was wrapped with... What I saw there tonight, it was, I suppose you start to doubt the way you, you, you try and coach and, and get the message across, but after, you know, a bit of soul searching over the last month, not only this week, I think the players now realise that, yeah, the mind's a, a great tool. Fremantle ventured to Footy Park looking for a win on the road, while the Crows were keen to cement their place in the top four. The start was promising for the Dockers, Farmer kicking the first goal of the match. And has kicked a great goal for Brio. Adelaide's Tyson Edwards got two within a minute, while costly turnovers were hurting Fremantle. Missed the handball, comes to Edwards and he kicks the goal. Down by 20 at half time, the Dockers worked their way back into the game, getting within eight points thanks to the boot of Lee Brown, but the Crows' big guns responded a six-goal third term, setting up the win. Fremantle yet to beat Adelaide at Footy Park, continue to struggle on the road this year. Tyson Edwards kicking five for the winners. The Crows home 18-10 to Fremantle 13-11. And this afternoon at the MCG, the Hawks continued on their winning way, easily accounting for the Cats by 52 points. Over in the West, the Eagles have continued the losing streak for visiting teams at Subiaco, smashing the Kangaroos by 49 points. And a major row is brewing between the Collingwood Football Club and Adelaide radio station 5AA over unsubstantiated allegations the club has bribed an umpire. The Magpies were fuming over the comments made on the breakfast show yesterday by former Crows player Stephen Rowe, suggesting the club had paid an umpire to get Nathan Buckley off at the tribunal. There is some suggestion that maybe some underhand bees and honey slash currency may have... Oh, changed yeah. hands. Oh, that's, that's a vicious, serious rumour, I know. Do you know what I'm inferring? I do, and that's a very and serious allegation. I'm saying it would happen. There's no greater slur in world sport than to be accused of bribing an official, and uh, the Collingwood Football Club are outraged and will take this uh, to the uh, very end. 5AA today ran retractions apologising for the incident. The North Queensland Cowboys and the West Tigers look to be the most even matchup of round nine in the NRL, but early tries to Matt Bowen and Matt Singh had the Cowboys out to a 14-0 lead. The Tigers came roaring back, though. Willie Manu with a barnstorming run to bring the lead back to just two early in the second half. But from there on, it was all one-way traffic. Singh with a message to Queensland State of Origin selectors. Ken McGuinness, another cowboy finding his He's best form, I should say a tiger. The crowd at Dairy Farmers finally with something to cheer about. 
There he was, Kenny. An embarrassing scoreline for the Tigers, their second heavy defeat in a row after making a strong start to the season. The Cowboys look to have turned the corner under new coach Graham Murray. I did say to them, you know, when I first came in, I reckon you would have leaked at least a couple of tries in that first half because our defence wasn't that good. But they hung in there and they covered for each other and they scrambled well. And I think we're just growing as a football team. Every time we made a mistake, the next set of six, they scored a try. And we just didn't click, click after we made a mistake. We weren't urgent enough. Every one of us out of the 17 players is disappointed. And um, we just got to take a good look at ourselves and, um, and turn things around. And the Northern Eagles tonight travel to ANZ Stadium looking to beat first place Brisbane. It's a big call. State of Origin hopeful Carl Webb doing his selection chances no harm early on. Carl Webb still going. Ball on the outside to Kelly. Flick back to Lockyer. That is a sensational try. Tessa Lavia then put the Eagles within six, but Chris Walker helped Brisbane skip away. In the second half, the Eagles tried to soar, but Brent Tate's Falcon put the Broncos further ahead. Lottie Takiri crossing for a hat trick of tries. And a club record, 26 points. Brisbane runaway winners, 52 to 12. So I couldn't ask any more of them. They've been tremendous. They've been um, gutsy. They've been you know, entertaining. They've been.